Hi, myself Dr. Supriya Deshmukh. Today let's talk about sunscreens. Now this topic of sunscreen always hots up during summer season. But believe me, summers is not the only season to use sunscreens. Sunscreen should be used year round, even in rainy seasons. Yes, even in rainy seasons, 50% of the radiation from the sun reaches the earth's surface. Now, why is sunscreen important? Well, to start with, the UV rays have a lot of radiation which is in the form of UVA and UVB which really does a lot of harm to unprotected skin. Now what is the harm that happens? So there are harm right from ranging from you know skin wrinkles, pigmentation, tanning. There are a lot of people who even face a lot of sunburn and skin allergies because of sun which is also called as photodermatitis. Ultraviolet radiation can also lead to skin cancer especially in fair skin people. Hence, it's extremely important that you use sunscreen year-round. Now, if you are, a, you are a typical working individual who leaves home in the morning and comes back directly in the late evening or night, then even if you use sunscreen once a day and the rest of the part, if you are indoors, then you can just apply it once and that should be enough. But if you're a professional or a person who is constantly on the move and keeps on going out in the sun frequently, then yes, the sunscreen needs to be applied every two to three hours. There are many sunscreens which are available in the market, which, of, which many of them are good. Uh, the only thing that you need to understand is just having SPF in your sunscreen is not enough. Most of the brands will claim of SPF 50, of SPF 70, even SPF 90. But believe me, being uh, with an Indian skin, we don't really need that much of an SPF. SPF 30 is uh, the minimum possible protection that we need. However, if you have uh, some um, skin conditions like photo allergy or you have uh, very severe pigmentation on your face, then definitely you should have sunscreen which is more than SPF 50. Now, SPF is called a sun protection factor which is basically uh, protecting you against the UVB radiation from the sun. Now this radiation is just 5% of the entire total radiation. The remaining 95% of the radiation is UVA. Now this particular radiation is the one that does more harm. That means more wrinkles and more amount of pigmentation. So we need an sunscreen that will protect us from the UVA rays too. That's why you need to look for a sunscreen that will have PA that is one of the Japanese scale of measuring a superiority of sunscreen or else a boot star rated sunscreen. It has to be at least minimum boot star 4 and PA triple plus. That is a good measure or a good sunscreen that will protect you against UVA radiation as well. Okay. Now many people will say me that the sunscreen is very sticky or uh, when I apply sunscreen I look very dark. Now you need to understand that uh, there are various formulations in sunscreen like there are gel sunscreens, there are lotions, there are creams, there are even sunscreens which are silicone based which feel extremely matte and powdery to apply. So there are various formulations uh, in consultation with a dermatologist. You can make a good choice as to which possible sunscreen is best suited for your skin. If you have an oily skin and if you're prone to acne, then you should use a sunscreen that has a matte finish. So basically go for uh, sunscreens which are silicone based or gel based. Now sunscreens claim to be non-comedogenic nowadays, but there are still some people who still get breakouts of acne in, in in spite of using non-comedogenic sunscreens, you will basically need to try out a few brands before you really settle on to one. Uh, especially uh, women who are having dry skin or they have sensitive skin or women in the age group from 40 to 50, they can go for lotion or cream based sunscreens because they will also moisturize their skin along with protect them from the UV radiation. But typically young people should go for gel based sunscreen. It is extremely important for kids also to apply sunscreen because it's important that we protect their skin early on from the damages of UV radiation. But with children, the sunscreens to be used should be physical sunblockers. Okay, now the sunscreen are physical as well as chemical. Chemical sunscreens basically absorb the UV rays like a sponge. Uh, as compared to physical sunscreen which reflect the UV radiation back into the atmosphere. 
kids should be avoiding chemical sunscreens they should basically stick to physical sunscreens which contain two very important ingredients which is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so if you're looking out for a sunscreen for your child make sure that the sunscreen contains only zinc oxide and titanium dioxide hi myself dr supriya deshmukh today let's talk about sunscreen so many people ask me as to what is the right amount of sunscreen to be used there is a lot of confusion over this so just to make things simple you have to pump out amount of sunscreen which is equivalent to a 50 paisa coin over your palms that is the quantity enough for your face and your neck when you are covering your face and neck make sure you are also covering the ears because these again can get affected with sunlight another thing if you are wearing an outfit where you know other parts of your body are exposed then definitely cover those areas too so normally if you're going out on a beach or if you're going to a pool side area you need to have double protection uh, you know if you're not you know ready to wear clothes that are going to cover you if you're going to uh, wear a bikini or you're going to wear a swimsuit then you need to use sunscreen on the entire exposed part of your body so just uh, to make things simple uh, i can give you i can tell you that uh, you know you know a shot glass right so a shot glass full amount of sunscreen should suffice for your both arms and forearms and similarly one shot glass each for your leg if you are wearing a bikini that is the amount of sunscreen you will require to be put if you are out in the sun on the beach then you need to apply it every 2 hours make sure uh, you tan safely otherwise uh, you know you will be prone to a lot of other troubles uh, like you might get photo allergy you must skin might get burned even children have to be sunscreen when they go to the beach or even they when they are out in a swimming class 